Yo guys, this video is about legendary perk up. We are going to do it in a 4 times mission, solo. Yo, welcome back guys. So what we're gonna do now is we are actually gonna go into a four times. We're gonna do it from private and basically we are using base Kyle and in my next video I'm gonna show you exactly the constructors that we need to use so the solo mission can be done and it's absolutely easy. There's limited amount of materials that you use and it's quite cool. So basically we're just going to load in. If you guys are new here, obviously I'm Durban Sniper. You guys can click that like, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm only going to bring you the best on Save the World. I also do Battle Royal, so you can check it out. So we just stepped into the map and obviously I'm low on, on mats. I've been doing this like quite a few times already. It's been absolutely cool. Uh, this actually works way better if you have two constructors so if you're doing it with another partner and that will be one of my next videos I'm actually gonna do it with a guy by the name of evil he showed me uh, this basic build and it's quite cool so I'm about to take you guys and show you guys this build and how it works and how easy it is to get legendary perk up so this is just a trial run I'm doing it in a level 88 and in the next video I'm probably gonna do it in a level 140 but that time we are gonna have two constructors and we're gonna show you exactly how it's done so basically I had to modify this build and compared to having two constructors we are just using one this constructor actually gives you extra build uh, I wouldn't say extra build but extra health on your building so it's quite cool the easy way to find the balloon is you check where the storm isn't and you can either look up obviously and check where the, the map check where the storm is closing in and that's the easy way of finding out where the balloon will be then I just look up and I run straight to the balloon so I'm just gonna go collect a bit of mats Obviously, I've been doing this for quite some time and I've just been stacking on legendary perk up. So, I'm about to take you guys now and show you guys the build. Stay tuned. So this is the simple format, we're just going to have a box, we're going to have four steps coming out and we're going to have rooftops on top of those steps. I'm just going to bang out everything that's in the way here because once the husks start coming we're going to need to push them out the way and we're going to need to give ourselves some time before they can step back and start hitting our walls. We are not going to fight, so in my next video when I'm going to do it with the evil you gonna, you guys are gonna see. This is gonna be uh, absolutely no gun thing. It's strictly just building and upgrading. That is all. That is all that it is to winning legendary. You don't have to use any ammo. You don't have to use any guns. You don't have to use 
durability on your guns because you're not using guns so that's cool so i'm just upgrading everything now and i'm going to show you guys the mod the mod that i used and when you're doing it with someone else you don't need to use this uh modification on it so i'm just gonna break out everything that's in the way so the house can fly out the way we are not gonna kill them but because this is a solo we might have a few times where we have to shoot some some husks and it just works so much better with two people so this is the modification that I'm going to show you now we basically have to build a wall there and I'm just gonna break out all this as well there's so much of stuff in the way here so as you can see that's how I'm building my mod modification wall because this is a solo Basically what's going to happen is I'm going to put floor launchers, wall launchers on the modification stuff. I'm just going to upgrade everything. Yeah, not possible. Whoa, sorry. As I said before, this works so much better with two people but uh, you both got to be constructors and obviously have perks on your constructor that do not do damage Sorry. so what's going to happen here is as the husk come and they try to break that step they're going to get knocked back and they're going to get knocked back again with this build so this is my modification on this build. I'm just going to upgrade everything. This build uses less mats than what I'm building now if you use two constructors. Obviously if you have a friend that's a constructor and you, it's absolutely cool. You don't even need to put the application on it. So we're going to do everything that we can to get building strength so this is one of the traps that's cool it can go onto a windowed a windowed wall so that's a door so we can just change that yeah that's the new trap in the game the disco trap cool Okay, so basically your build's gonna look something like this. If you want to use the modification that I that I put, the side walls with the punches, you can do so. Yeah, not possible. And that looks ready. There's a few more tricks on this build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put floor spikes on the inside walls. And these floor spikes have increase in building. It heals the building. As you can see, heals building. And we're just going to put them up now. That goes on the inside. Remember, no damage. Okay, all that set. We are now ready to start our mission. Just want to heal up and upgrade everything that I can. All's looking good. We're ready to start this.
So all you're gonna do is basically with the husk to come. This is where you're gonna stay. There's one more modification that you need to do, and that increases your building strength. I'll show you guys now. I'm just waiting for the husk to come closer so I can put my slow fill down. So guys, as you can see, that banner gives you an increased amount of building. My building's now gone to 18,000. For the house to break 18,000 takes a long time. I have forgot something on this build and I'm just going to... Check whether the buildings are fine. These are electric husks, so that's why we built with brick. So basically we can look through the window even though the trap is there and we can still repair the the steps that's on the other side which is quite cool i'm just gonna get this guy off my roof i don't know what is he doing there what are you doing there dude Get out. <laughs> As you can see, this is, uh, these are electric husks, so my water obligate isn't gonna do much anyway we can just shoot uh... shoot the smasher what yeah what versus electric you're not gonna get much damage on that Down another slow field, slow them down a bit. So all you're going to do is you're going to keep repairing and my water obligator is doing nothing. So let's just use the gravity gun on this guy. Smash is kind of annoying. You can also bolt through the windows. I'm going to show you that in a bit. As you can see they already broke my steps all because of the smasher. And yeah. I'm gonna build the steps outside now. Let's just wait for them to break it a little bit more so you can see it. There we go, just build the steps. The smasher is seriously 
Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, by the way, there's boss. The boss just stepped in my box. I should have crafted myself a bundle boss. So boss doesn't do anything, he basically looks at you. There's nothing he can do. He's just gonna stay there and stare at you <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Which is quite quite weird. Weirdly he just disappeared into the air. I have no idea where he went. I'm just going to carry on healing up this building. Now that I got extra strength on my walls, I can now edit this and I'll just shoot out whoever's here so it can give my steps time to mature. When you do this with another constructor, you don't even need, they'll never break through the building. That's the best part. So doing this duo is actually way better. Doing the solo, you're going to get a wall that's going to break. So don't despair. It's quite easy to just repair it and keep on keep on going. So this, there is something I forgot to put. And I actually crafted it, but I never put it. So I'm just going to put one more of these floor spikes gives it increased health and there's another smasher The boss just came and he just literally disappeared into the air. He normally comes and he just stands there and he looks at you like, <laughs> like what are you doing there? <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually quite cool. I like that part. So we're just gonna leave that house there. So this is the other thing I forgot. You're gonna put wall spikes on the inside that actually gives you an increase in health, building health as well. This guy is trying to get through my walls and kill me. So we total files 15 out of 16 and we 16 out of 16. We just won the solo by sitting in a box, upgrading walls and your upgrade will be 1 and 1 and 1. All four sides, every time they knock it, your math, math just comes out with one. So that's it. That's all those build takes. It's all about building building your base as strong as you can without killing husks so that no other husks can spawn. That's basically how you do this. So we're going to go back into lobby now and see exactly what we won. So guys, I'm going to bring you more stuff on Save the World. Make sure you all click that like, subscribe, turn on notifications. New videos are going to post very soon. So we are stepping back into lobby. And as you can see, there's our legendary perk. 152 plus our gold. Hope you enjoy the videos, guys. Take care and join back.